culturally in New Hampshire, a lot of people carry firearms. Uh, you can legally, we do have constitutional carry. A lot of our folks carry guns. Uh, they might open carry, they might conceal carry. And so when, when the police realized they were being surrounded, they of course called for backup. So next second, we've got 11 squad cars coming in. Now the cops are popping out, the people are angry, it's kind of getting really feisty, right? And I remember, and it's actually on a video on YouTube, there's an officer who kind of goes, he's got a gun. And then someone yells from our side, it's like, we all have guns, what now? And it was very interesting because what you realized is the police stood down in terms of the level of violence they were willing to bring to the situation. So when we talk about gun rights, you know, and for, you know, Second Amendment rights, that's part of it, right? That's part of that leveling of the playing field, right? So so people, and, and certainly I come from the progressive left. So I have a lot of friends who you know, are just like, Carla, I don't know about half the things you think about, right? But that's one of the things with gun rights that we know it levels the playing field. And so it changed the energy at that protest that day. The police kind of stood down. I mean, they were there, they were being firm, but you know, they had their police dogs, but there wasn't this mass sort of rounding up and arresting that I think would have happened had that not been the case.